stuff hanging yeah, around their house stuff. that you want to get rid of, but you go from fab to drab, domestic diva, Jane Mansuris is here to talk about how to turn it into stuff you can use. You got that right. I spent the entire weekend in my storage unit, and I said, I got to throw this away. I got to donate it. I got to save it. I'm going to save it. How do I make it something I can use and turn that trash into treasure? I so we're going to start because we've got a lot, a lot to cover. My favorite. This is a lamp. You would find this in any storage unit. This lamp happened to be my parents' bedside table lamp for, for as long as I can remember. Okay. And I found a box of love letters from my mom and for, to, from my dad to my mom. She was state. He was... She was in Boston, he was here, and this is when he was courting her, before they were married. Like very personal memories, you kind of put them right here it's to remember. It's a memory lamp. And you could do this with a pen pal, you can do this with a grandparent that you're writing to. Or letters to your child growing up and they go to college or exactly. something. Exactly, and I, this is just my favorite thing. I'm going to oh. use this now. Before I didn't want to use it, now I love it. It's so beautiful. Okay, we also talk about albums. You got record some of these, you know, vinyl. Your, all your record albums hanging out in a crate. Well, why not use them as wall art? They make frames that fit a record album, 12 and a half cool. by 12 and a half. So easy, you put them in the frame and you can put them on a wall. I think we actually have a picture of a girl that has it on the wall. There she is. Ah. Tells a story about your life. It tells a story about your childhood, your and growing up you years. Growing right. Up. What happened, what you were doing when you were listening to that record? I have grease up on the wall. Okay. Right. We've right. gone digital, mm -hmm. Anna. We have no more CDs. Okay, now we've got CDs, right? What are you what are you we're doing? We're gonna those? repurpose those and use them as coasters. Look at that. So what you do is you take some sticky felt. Cut your circle, stick it on the back, and you've got coasters that tell a story about your favorite music. How beautiful. What I love this, uh, an idea for this, get eight or 12 of them, wrap them up, give them as a gift. Fun. Isn't that a great idea? That is a great idea. Yeah, but idea. make sure you take all the music off of that and make that into an MP3. Books. I mean, who uses books anymore, right? Well, if you have books, please donate them because we want you to read. But sure. if there's a book that you're fond of, keep it. And there's like, lots of things you can do with books. Number one, talking about presents take the pages and turn them into gift tags. So you cut the gift tag shape, you put a little cord on that. Look at that. It's you, Anna. Love Jane. That is so Next sweet. Next time there'll be a present attached to that. Okay. okay. And I like your idea. You have to encourage reading. And no matter which reading. way you do it, but this is something you do with the old books you don't want. And the anymore. cover of the book, look at that. You're going to make it into a little purse. I love this. Purse. This is a splash of color for your little black dress. That is so cute. That it's cute? a book that maybe, you know, you need yeah. something to. Okay. Uh, you might find a frame in your storage closet. What I did here with the frame is you just add some screen on the back of it. Use it for your earrings. It's an earring holder, and then it doubles as an art piece. I need to do that. Isn't that great? I need to, then you can see everything when you wake up in the morning, and right? It also, and it is beautiful. Ugly old bulletin board. That's terrible. Recover it with some beautiful fabric. This is my friend Anastasia. We did it for her bedroom, and she let me borrow it to show you today. And Super you just, easy and it's you functional. Put on it? What did you put on it? Diana? Just some fabric and some ribbons and some beads. And suddenly, boom, it's like this awesome decorative piece. And she piece. picked out the fabric, and it, it matches her room, and it's wonderful. And then chairs. You got some chairs that you want to trash? Sure. We don't want to trash them. Just recover them. So what I did was I took a bunch of fabric scraps and sewed them together and recovered the chair and now you've got a reusable, functional, beautiful chair. Thanks to my friend Kim Bisk for doing that. Corey, you, you got I, some I, vinyl like that. I just want to check out somewhere. the albums, actually. Did I see sticks in here? Yeah, there's, there's an autograph stick. Oh, right there. Look at that. Oh, there. 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 Oh, there.